Så fan ska jag filma. Jag filmar. Ja, men jag ser sen. Jag är först. Det är också ledarband och så. Ah, what do you want to know? <laughs> just in general? Um, yeah, just in general. Okay, well, my name is uh, Suzanne Lutke, and I'm 42 years old, and I am, I am married, I have three children, uh, a boy who's 11 and two girls that are seven and nine years old, and um, uh, I live in the, in the east of Holland near Apeldoorn in uh, ESB, which is a little town. And, um, well, from origin, I am a music teacher, as you, well, some of you know, since I teach you. I, am, um, uh, I have been teaching in the high school for a long time. Uh, I'm also a saxophone player and a professional musician. And um, more recently, um, I studied uh, educational science, which is a, a university degree um, in how to, how to teach. Teach well. It's not even teaching. It's more, uh, it's more thinking on on an academic level about education. Like how can you make a good school? How can how can you make the young school become stronger? And well, I just finished this uh, degree in university, and then I saw the advert from this school looking for a vice principal, and I thought, well, why not? And so here I am now. Since um, well, since beginning of July, I'm. Vice principal of the school. Is that what you want? I like I like running. I'm a runner, and uh, I like reading, and I like music. And um, what do you hate? Uh, what part of your job do you hate most? <laughs> ah, that's uh, <laughs> what part of my job do I hate most? Well, I just worked here for a few months, so I don't really um, <laughs> I don't really hate a lot of things yet. Um, I don't hate anything yet. What mm, I can tell you what I find I don't hate it, but what I find difficult is that. Can I answer that as well? Yeah, sure. So, um, what is difficult in this job is that um, the thing uh, some or well, some not here, but some and me are trying to do is to get the school to grow and to become stronger and and. To become stronger, and it needs a lot of thinking in my head to think. Well, what's what's happening in this school? What is the strong points of the school, and what's maybe not so good in the school? So I need a lot of space in my head to think about this. But then, in the end, when I'm here, there's a lot of people walking in and asking me questions, and then there's a class that doesn't have a teacher, and then all of a sudden there is. Um, a dog in the school, and what's the dog doing in the school? And Aid runs in, why is there a dog in the school? Mm. And I don't know, Aid, do something about it. And so there's a lot of stuff happening that um, that keeps me from uh, really sitting down and thinking about, hmm, where do we have to go in the school? It's a bit of an uh, unpredictable job. It is. And it's the fun thing is I find it the difficult part of the job, but it's also the fun part of the job, because it's never a dull day. From the moment I walk in till I leave, it's like, whoa, it's like activity everywhere. So it's, I, I don't hate any part of the job yet, but that's the part I find I'm still struggling with a bit. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Susan. Yeah, here am I. <laughs> um, so you say it's a bit uh, unpredictable, but what do you mostly do uh, when you are actually working? You know, before I started working here, I had the day before I went the first day, I couldn't sleep all night because I was laying in my bed and I was wondering, what am I going to do? I just couldn't think, so what do you do when you're a vice principal? What are you? So I, there was a funny question for me. So what do I actually do? Um, well, um, when I first started my job, I took it, I put a lot of energy into meeting all the people, meeting students uh, as yourselves, meeting teachers, meeting uh, Ave, meeting the secretary, uh, you know, and just talking to people like, hi, who are you, and what do you want to do, and what's your vision in education? So I talked a lot, and I really spent almost first few weeks talking to people, like every evening I had a sore throat from talking. 
And what I do now is um, there's a few things in the school that are my responsibility. For example, uh, the, the ICT um, situation. So there's, we have the Quinn plan, as you know, and we have um, it's learning as an ELO platform. And we've got, we've got all different systems in the school, but they're all different systems. And I'm, for now, I'm uh, designing a new situation for the sports school. So I'm talking to people, to students, to teachers, what do we need in the school? And then I take it up to, with other people together, design a new environment for the school. So that's, again, a lot of talking. And then at the end, I sit down and I think, okay, I've got all this information. What, what's it going to be? I'm going to make a decision about this. Um, also, what is a lot of um, takes a lot of my time is, is the guidance of teachers. To uh, well, in the end, I'm sort of there. Of course, formally, I'm their boss, but I don't. I don't feel like being their boss. I feel like I'm there to guide them in their work. So I talk a lot to teachers that are either having a great time, or you know, need some like, can you help me out, Susan? I don't know how to deal with this. So a big part of my job is again talking to teachers and helping them. And I think a lot together with Sam about how to get this school a true Montessori school, how to to continue even when we're growing that trust is the basis of what we do. And we talk a lot about how can we keep this and how can we really be a different school. And uh, Sam and me discuss this a lot, but I also discuss this a lot with, well, for, for, for example, people like Roger, your teacher, Okay, how, how can we do this? How can we not become just one of the schools, but continue to be, as Montessori we say in Flevoland, to be special? So this is sort of the things I uh, put it down to it. I basically talk to people, and I make decisions. But uh, I talk and I listen, and I try to figure out what's the important issues in the school for now. Maybe, yeah. Um, but you're also a uh, music teacher, right? Um, so, if you could, if you uh, needed to choose between teaching music or being vice principal, what Ooh. would you choose? Oh, this is a conscience question. Huh, that's a beautiful question. And of course, I made the decision because I'm here and I'm a vice principal, right? You're so also there teaching. Yeah, I'm also <laughs> teaching music, but my teaching job is very tiny. Um, you know, music is my heart. For me, music is more than uh, a subject I teach. It's just it, it makes it makes me very happy to be with other people and to make music. And I will always do this because wherever I go, if I if I'm in a school, I will either teach a class or start a school choir or it is you know it's just who I am. But on the other hand, I love to 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 I love to get to know myself as a, as, a, as a leader. I always knew, even when I was your age, that I was a leader. And uh, I, um, I always wanted to, to look into myself and say, well, how, how am I going to do this? I don't want to tell people what to do, but I do know stuff. I do want to be you know, uh, responsible for things. And so I knew I, if I had to choose, I can never live without music. But music is part of my whole life. So as a job, I think for now I will choose to be, or I will choose to be the, the, the vice principal because it just, it's for me, it's a very big challenge to see where I, where I'm going, going to go. You know, it's just, it's also my age, of course, I'm 42, so, so move on. But I'm, I will be teaching. You know, in my free time, I, I have a, a little orchestra with little kids. And I sing a lot. And I make music myself. And you know, I play in a big band. The music is always there. So it's a good question. And I do wonder sometimes, like, hmm, and why do I do this? Why? But yeah, mostly I'm really happy. Uh, so Suzanne, um, it's all about uh, two years or so that we're in a new uh, building. Yeah. What was your first reaction when you uh, were going to expand? And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I was not here when, uh, when this decision was made. Right, because I was just here for four months, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is a. Um, um, I, but I do talk to some and other people. See, my reaction was is I I think educa 
education should always be about not too many people. I think a school is better off being with um, a maximum of 600, maybe 700 kids. Because I want to walk through this school and I want to say, hey, Gerard, how are you doing? And not think like, I don't even know in which class you are. You know, I don't want to be like that. I think it's just not good when you're in a school and, and you're an anonymous, you're a number. Because then you can never be a true Montessori school. Because you're not, you know, you're not looked yeah. upon like, hi, ah, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? But it's like, you become anonymous. So expanding, I think we have to, we have to do this well not your interest, but financially as a school, you need to have a certain growth to be financial healthy. But for me, I think we're about to the borders of what I would like to grow. But then again, some is in charge here in this case a bit more. But I think some don't want to expand more than that. I think we're all sort of, maybe we're going to grow another 100 kids. But I think we'll leave it to that. I think the school is about full too. I don't think there's yeah. more, not more people than go in the school. I didn't really get it because it's a pretty small school. So yeah. the school is at the building you yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were surprised when we moved in here. Yeah, I thought, oh wow, it's gonna be big and then yeah. oh, but there's restaurants on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of empty space. You mean like a lot of space? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, is it, yeah. Do you find it a problem as a, as a student to be? Well, is it too full? Um, maybe a little bit because they you can sit on the couches. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 True. We're working on that actually. We're working on canteen uh, chairs and stuff. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm not promising anything, but we're working on it. Oh, I say this a lot too at my job. I'm not promising anything, but I'm working on it. So it's part of my job. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but do you like school as a? Yeah, I like the building, but it is. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, kind of small. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big, but there's going to be more students in here next year, so we have to. We're working on that as well. <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. So I think we're done, or? Yeah. 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 Thanks for your time, Susan. You're welcome. It was a very pleasant time to you. I'm very curious when the program is done. Maybe we can, if it's it's cool, maybe we can put it on the on the website of the school as a you know as a yeah you know as a, as a commercial thing for the school. Uh, we talk about uh, that with our sponsors. So uh. yeah, that's good. Oh, <laughs> you want to have money for that? <laughs> right? Yeah, our manager doesn't really like us to go big because uh -huh. you want yeah. to be have personal contact yeah. you don't want to be a number well, yeah. uh, <laughs> it could be possible but uh, you should uh, put a youtube link uh, on the yeah. school site then. yeah yeah maybe we can, maybe we can embed it in one day or some, yeah we're going to work on that but I, it was very pleasant to talk to you guys yes. so thank you very much thank you thank you and uh, anytime thanks